It's about two months ago. I have decided to extend about this MongoDB DBA exam. But at this time, I have not found so much information on web about this exam. So I have started the extending process and in this new while, I have created a playlist in this channel and shared here a few hints about subjects I have faced when preparing myself to this exam. So I will now, with this video, share with you the whole experience between the studying process and the schedule and the exam day and the whole experience. Then you, if interested, could also take your own exam. So let's start. One thing you have to do when aiming to take the exam is schedule that. For schedule that, you have to enter in this platform, create your own account, perform the payments, and then perform the schedule. Basically, you have then to open this main page about certification process, click on register now. It will take you for one page, this page is public, then here has some Overview information about that exam. It's it's 90 minutes. Yes, it will take time. This is the this is the um, the value. It's in English. Okay. It's performed online, like said here. You go online. You don't need to go to a test center to perform that. You can do that from your own house, your own office. You don't need to to travel to perform that this exam. And it's really about multiple choice questions, closed questions, okay, no open questions for typing comments and so multiple comments, multiple choice questions. Okay, then you have to click here, resume to certification. Now, it has already logged because some kind of maybe cookies or something in my computer, but for this point, you have to log in. You don't need to create one particular new account to this platform. It allow your access to Google account, GitHub account, and some other social platforms you could use. So you don't need to create one new user to enter here. Now you have entered here. What do you have to do? I have already performed my exam. So it's already not more visible here anymore. But um, first thing you have to do, you go to purchase your exam, you click here, and then you have to fill your data, then your later on your credit card information, you are going to pay, and then just after you pay, you can return to this screen, and here this progress stuff will be at 50%. And then you can schedule that, okay? One, uh, unfortunately, this screen is not more available to me because I have already done my, my exam, and but then from this screen, you can schedule that. And one very interesting thing is that you can schedule that almost at any time. I had took my exam in a Sunday, a morning, and eight hours a morning, my local time zone. It was available. I had have, I have seen this time available, and then I had to choose that because Sunday is more calm. No one will disturb you, you have no appointments in your work normally. So I had to choose this time and everything was, was scheduled. And then from this own platform, there is a, a button for you enter inside the virtual environment. But button is disabled and it will become enabled just 15 minutes before your schedule time. Okay? so. Let's now see more information about this exam. When your exam begins, do not forget to take one ID, one document, physical document, one ID with your name and your photo. Because really there is a person in the another side that will connect online, share the, their webcam with you, and they ask you to prove you are yourself they ask you to show in the front of the camera your ID and take a look if you are yourself. It's difficult because you need sometimes these kinds of ID. Your name is written in a with small letters and then 
even when you set that in front of your camera, they cannot read so well. So it's uh, give you some kind of work, but and then everything right. They also ask you to take your computer and your camera and show the entire room. So I have taken the exam in this room I, I am now, and then I have it to use the camera to show them and um, all the corners of this room and show there was no other computer turned on. There is no more camera. And more than that, you can only have one computer with one monitor. You cannot have your cell phone with you and they take a look in a lot of stuff. Another stuff they take a look is the software that are running in your computer to make sure you are not in, um, filming, recording your screen. So you have to show the applications with the task manager of your operational system. And if you have some kind of software like TeamViewer or another software that, that could share your screen or record your screen, they ask you to shut down this kind of software. So they make it kind of clean up and then you are able to start your exam and they are with you the whole time. You cannot leave for anything. Okay, now let's see a little more about the questions that are addressed in this exam. Now a little about the questions that are addressed in this exam. Here it is public and official web page. It shows to you the um, study guide for preparation. And here it shows to you the topics that are covered. So philosophy and features, crude operations, index, about server administration, about application administration, replication, sharding, and these are the topics. And really, all these topics are are addressed by the exam. So there are questions about all these points. My own opinion, the most difficult stop topics are about the replication. Okay, something about sharding is not also so easy. And the easiest questions are, of course, about crude and sometimes index and this overhaul philosophy and features. This part are the easiest one. Um, there are many questions about access rights, about GQ, GCL language, like stuffs, like security best practice, creating users, giving permission to users, and, and so on. And about protocols utilized for encryption, secure connections, and stuff like that. So you could look for these topics to study about that because they are really addressed. And uh, one nice thing in the quest, in the, in the test, is that the, the questions are multiple choice questions. Some kind of questions, there are just one correct answer. Another questions could have two or three correct answers. But always in the, um, in the sentence of the question, they say already how many questions, how many alternatives do you have to mark? So you have sure if there is just one, two, three, you have to check. It, it makes it easy. But now, one very valuable hint for you. If you go in the internet, any kind of search engine like Google, you can look for questions, simulators, demo, material. Then you could see questions as example. Making search like this one and using, of course, another ways to, to look for questions for this specific exam. And there are really a lot of material on internet, like this one, pass for sure, pass for success. This is the code of the exam, C100 DBA. So you could set this exam code here. You could see, see here many material that are uh, in certain way aim, aiming to assist you. But I have seen all of them. I have seen all of them. I have downloaded all the material, all the public material available, the, the, the demo material they allow us to download without costs. And the truth is that no question in the exam are exactly like this kind of material here. These real questions they say is not true, or at least it's not happens to me. Okay, some kind of materials has questions 
to out of dated versions of MongoDB instructions that are not supported anymore. Okay, so in the exam, all the 60 questions were questions I have never seen. Even I had downloaded the whole material, studied the whole questions. However, downloading this material and taking a look in these websites is a good hint for you to study. You could study the content about replication, about sharding, about permissions, about index, and all the topics that are addressed by this exam. However, you can have sure that no question you are going to face in the exam, you will be probably um, seen based in this material. But it's a good alternative for X study. And more than that, I recommend you to take a look at the videos I have set up in this channel in a playlist where I make the hands-on experience. So how to create the index, how to, to perform some kind of carries, how to create users, how to... So this kind of, of experience, not just learn the theory for the, for the questions, for the exam, but also has the practical experience which help you to, when see a question you have never seen before, you'll be able to think about and then you have a good basis to make that right. So let's go to the last hints about this exam. Now it's the following. After you have do the exam, just after you have concluded, it already shows the screen your result if you have, if you have passed it or failed. And when your session ends, the person that are following you shut down and you close the, the platform, but you already know the results. A few minutes later, about minus than 30 minutes, you receive already one email from Quadly, this email here. And then here you may, let me open this email here. From here, you already see not exactly your certificate. If you already know Credly, you know this platform, it basically gives to you some kind of, of badge you can set in your curriculum and so on. I'm actually not so fun about this platform. I do not like that so much, but we can take a look here. You, you have then a link uh, where you have some kind of some general certificate. Okay. It's here, this kind of stuff. So you have this URL, you can share that with any person in the world. And people know you have this badge emitted to you and at this date and it's verifiable. And okay, it's more better than nothing. But then a few hours later, but in the same day, as you can see here, this first email was delivered to me. Where is the time? Here three minutes before nine hour. Let me try to open that again, so. Here, it was delivered at this time to, to me, okay? And you see, I have begun the test at eight. So in the same hour, I have already received this result in my computer. But then later on in the same day, we have the official email from MongoDB company about our certification. This was sent three hours later, the, the beginning of the exam, about two hours later, the end of the exam. And then here you are able to download your certificate. So I have downloaded that. And then here it is. Then here you have your license related to your certification. And so this certificate is really the, the original one, the official one. And there is one web link they already provide to you that make that public. So better than Quadly, but you have two, the two options. So is that for the, um, the exam? Okay, I hope if you have interest in becoming a MongoDB DBA professional uh, certified, you could take hints from this video to help you. Okay, thank you for watching.